Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about saving some attachments with UiPath. So in this example, I'm going to open up Outlook. I got a bunch of emails with some attachments on them, a bunch of PDF files that are orders that people are waiting to have filled, and I'm going to save them to a local folder in my project. Starting from scratch, I'm going to create a new process project, and I'm going to call it Save Attachments. Make the same description and click create. And as that's being created, I'm just going to show you my Outlook inbox. And you can see that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six emails, but I have three of these emails have attachments on them. They got orders on them, a t-shirt order and a book order. And I want to make sure that I download each of those attachments. I want to do it with UiPath. So how do I do it? Well, the first thing I need to do is open the main workflow window and add a, an Outlook reading activity on here. So there's Outlook under app integration, get Outlook mail messages. I drop that right on there. And when I take a look at this, it says, uh, do we only want unread messages? I'm gonna say no, because I think a bunch of these have been read. So I wanna actually get some feedback when I run this application. It's gonna go into inbox. Um, I need a variable to hold all of the different email messages when they come back. So I'm going to need to add a variable, which I'll call email messages. And its type is going to be of type list. So I need to find that generic list, which is right there. And there's the list right there. And of course, inside this list, I need to specify that we're going to have a list of mail messages. So I'm going to actually add that in there. I almost forgot. And there we go. This list is going to contain mail messages. It's called email messages. And when this activity runs, get Outlook messages, we're going to save all of those email messages into that variable right there. So that goes into output. So that's a pretty good start. This is going to read all of the emails inside of my local Outlook installation. It's going to store them all into this email messages uh, variable. One problem I do have here is the fact that I've got one, two, three, four, five, six different emails, but only three have attachments in them. And so just to make things a little bit more handsome, one of the things you might want to do if you're just downloading attachments is add a filter in here. And the filter that I'm going to have is attachment equals true. It's not has attachment or has attachments. It's just attachment equals true. True is inside single quotes. The whole thing is inside double quotes. And that's going to filter things out for me fairly well. Okay, so what do I do after that? Well, I want to loop through each of the different emails in this email messages list. So I go down to flow control and I add a for each loop in here into the sequence. And I'm going to change the for each item name to email. And what are we doing? We're for each email in the email messages object, we're going to go through and we're going to do something. Now, one thing you need to note in this for each loop, the type argument defaults to object, and that's not going to be very helpful. We actually want to specify that it's mail messages. If you don't have that, you'll get a late binding error when you run this example. So make sure that type argument is changed to mail messages and that the values that we're going through is that email messages variable. But once you've got that done, then you can start worrying about what to do as we loop through these mail messages. One thing I like to do is just display the subject of the email in a message box. It just gives me some visual feedback so that I know things are working. And so that's just a matter of going email.subject.toString, and that will get the string representation of the email. So when this runs, it should say verified order, verified order, verified order. And now it actually shouldn't say this is seriously important because we should be filtering just for items that have attachments. But hey, let's see if that works when we run it. Now this is just giving us some feedback. What I really want to do is add an activity that is going to download all of the attachments. And it's not download, it's save, right? It's save attachments. And it's going to say, well, what attachments is it that you want to save? And I got to tell this sequence that it's all of these email messages whose attachments I want to save. So that becomes the first argument. Save the attachments of each email we go through. And where do we want to save them? Well, by default, it wants to put it into the root directory of the project. I'm actually going to open up this project, create a new folder, call it attachments. And it's in the save attachments project. 
but I'm going to specify that as the target to save all of these files. Now, if, it, if it's inside the project, it just has a relative path to the root of the project. You could actually put the full path, like C colon program files, but you know, roll your own, choose your own adventure. Um, that will suffice for me here. And then at this point, I think this is pretty much done. I always like to double check that I've got everything correct. Everything's in double quotes. A lot of times you forget to put this in double quotes and it will fail. Sometimes I forget to put the object down there in the output field. And then people generally forget to specify the type argument as mail message. But I think all of this looks good. So I'm going to click the Save button. And then I'm going to run this example. I'm going to bring up my inbox. And you can see that as it now goes through, verified order, verified order, verified order. And then it terminates because the filter is making sure that we're not going through any emails that don't have attachments on them. And then it looks like this whole thing has finished and is successful. Now, is it really successful? Well, the only way to verify that is by going into the Save Attachments Project folder looking inside that attachments folder and here we go. Will we get the boom? Will things work? There we go. Three files in it, book order, book order, and t-shirt order. And those were the three files, the three attachments that were sent on those three emails that are inside of our Outlook. Book order, book order, t-shirt order, boom. That is awesome. And there you go, that's how easy it is to save your email attachments. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got all sorts of great tutorials on enterprise software development and UI path and you name it. And uh, if you want to keep up with my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.